everyone, what's going on? Joey here and today we are finally answering one of the biggest questions you guys have been asking me over and over again. How big are the beaches? Before we do this, make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications and you give this video a thumbs up. Let's do this. <laughs> You know, you always hear those jokes. Oh, it's a mile to the beach. Or you hear the old stories where it's like, hey, the water used to be underneath the boardwalk. What happened? Well, there's a whole science behind it. And to be honest with you, that's for another video. But right now, we really are trying to figure out how far away the water is from the actual entrance, from the boardwalk, or say, like, you're right on, like, 3rd and JFK. If you actually open up a map of the Wildwoods, because I want to see how big the largest section is, we're going to cut out North Wildwood, unfortunately, because they really need a beach replenishment again every single year. And we're also going to cut out pretty much the southern part, either Diamond Beach and Wildwood Crest. So if you open up a map right now, I'll show you. You can see anywhere from Garfield to like right behind the Wildwood sign is probably where the largest section is actually at. And so that's where I figured we'll go ahead and actually measure it from the boardwalk all the way to the water's edge. Currently, the tide is rolling out. So imagine right now, it's probably gonna be either 10 feet or 20 feet difference, but I don't think it's gonna really mess up our number in the end. So uh, right now we have the drone, because I figured with the drone, especially with my DJI Spark, you get about 12 different satellites pinpointing exactly where it is. So we're gonna pretty much launch it here at Andrews and the boardwalk. We're gonna walk down the convention center and meet at the very edge and see where we at with feet. So let's do it. So this is the drone we're using. This is what I use for a lot of my smaller shoots just because it's small, it's compact. And on top of that, shoots in 2.8K. But the most important thing is just once again, it can get the 12 satellites tracking it. So we're gonna launch it pretty much from the end of the boardwalk right over here, we're in the parking lot for the convention center and make our way all the way to the very end. So uh, let's do this. So the drone is set right here at zero. I kind of lined it up with the end of the boardwalk and now we're gonna take it off and just fly it straight out. Take off. Point has been updated. Please check it on the map. So it's hard to see right now because it's a camera, but the drone is sitting right there in the clouds. We're flying it away from people because you don't want to fly over people um, but as of right now we're about i would definitely say past the convention center pretty much where the moat kind of starts right where the sand dunes kind of are ending and at this point right now it says that we are 540 feet away from where we took off that's that's kind of big <laughs> let's continue down now because we're filming and it's a beautiful weekend we're gonna grab some cool shots but don't worry we're still calculating straight line from the boardwalk at andrews straight out to the water line so uh, here's some cool shots to look and enjoy. At the water line, I don't know if you can see it. It says we're at 1390. We're gonna double check that in a second. Here we go. So we had the drone, we landed it right over here. It wound up being 1391 feet. We adjusted it just a little bit because it was just over 1400, but that was more towards the water, and we wanted to hit it right at the actual line. Now, if you actually look on the beach, as I said before, tide is rolling out. High tide was probably about two hours ago, which came up to here. And if we go with low tide, it's probably going to go out another 20 feet before it settles. So you can add or plus 20 feet on there, 1391. It's an insane number to think about. Keep in mind that right now, most of the country's beaches are shrinking. Here in Wildwood, our beaches are getting bigger every single year. I think they average about 10 feet longer every single year, something like that. That's why when North Wildwood does all their beach replenish projects, they come down here with their cranes and their big dump trucks. They take all the sand up front and move it down there because first of all, this sand is actually the Wildwood Stone Harbor and Avalon sand just coming down the coastline. 
Anyway, I like to double check all of my work, and so I figured while 1391 is a good number, let's take a drone up from here, probably a little bit closer to the waterline, and fly it all the way back to the boardwalk just to double check our work. So let's do that now. So we are right at the water line. You can't get any more in the water or we would actually be in the water. Uh, once again, tide is still rolling out, but we're gonna take up the drone. Just give me one second. It's kind of hard to do this with one hand. All right, and we're starting off at, right now, we're at four feet from where we took off from. sitting exactly where we took off straight ahead you can barely see it's like a little dot in the sky and if I zoom down you'll notice what height we're at 1393 so not bad off by two feet let's go ahead and land this thing and do some math so we had two different flights to give us a little bit of a mean there the first flight out was 1391 feet the flight back was 1393 feet so, I mean, there's only one foot difference, so the mean would be 1,392 feet. Now, if we were to calculate how many feet per mile, every single foot is 0.000198 of a mile. So, 1,392 feet equals 0.2436. So, what, about a quarter? So, when next time you're going to the beach and you say it's a mile long, you can look at your friend and you go, no, 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 no. It's just a quarter of a mile to the beach. But hey, now we finally have an answer to this. Did you guys expect that's how long the beach was gonna be? Did you expect it to be longer? Let me know in the comments section. Now I wanna thank everyone for joining me, especially those who support me on patreon.com. You too can be a patron of this channel and support us. There's so many amazing perks by having your name at the end of the video, plus some coupons and behind the scenes stuff. All you have to do is click the link in the description below. Anyway, I wanna thank you for joining me. I'm Joey, if you haven't done so yet, Please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. And as always, I'll see you guys on the beach. That's only .2636 or something like that. Whatever. I'll see you guys later. Bye.